Studio 7, in collaborazione con Sport e Piceno Game, presenta l'intervista di Pietro. band born in the 2080 we were in the studios uh, writing and recording uh, our debut album almost human and uh, we had the chance to improve the the band with the other musician from the from the local scene uh, we were working with the same producer so it was a good chance to meet all the other guy and uh, build a new lineup uh, and this from this point uh, the project start to to play first show live uh, with six member in the in the project and um, the uh, one years uh, later we released our first album almost human and uh, we decided to call the project Logical Terror. Uh, the way uh, is that um, we talked about uh, it was the, the right moniker to express um, our music and uh, the concept uh, uh, from uh, the, um, the different kind of influences from uh, electronic music, uh, uh heavy metal music uh, and also something from the the pop scene uh including the um, the use of two singers with the screaming uh, growl uh, uh clean vocals uh and this is the 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 way we try to express our music uh, uh with the, the right moniker we think uh, it works fine The new stuff uh, will be released next May 12th, but uh, first in edit track will be out next week. And uh, each month uh, we are going to release uh, one new single uh, with video stuff uh, too. And um, the new album will be out May 12th, but uh, we are still working in the studios. And we are really excited because it's the, um, the moment we, we wait uh, since we start to produce new, new song, new music, uh, new stuff in general. And we really love to, to meet together in the studios because we are not uh, from, the same, um, from the same area. Uh, we, each member lives in uh, different, uh, different cities. So we really like to meet together, work together to the, the song and uh, listen to the final result. That is the, the moment we wait uh, from, the, from the beginning uh, of, the, the, of the pre-production and the music writing, songwriting. <laughs> So uh, the author uh, um, has made by, by artist called Stefano Mattioni, uh, aka Viron 2.0. Uh, it's a great talent artist, and um, the main um, the main artwork uh, represent the title album called Sides of the Unknown, and it's a way to figure the the dark side and the human one that shift together 
and uh, try to relations each other. So it will be a, a cool artwork for us, but I think also for the fans. <laughs> All the, all the material is uh, made by demo staff and uh, also music and song that will, in a second step, uh, uh, complete the whole, uh, the whole opera. Uh, we start with the um, instrumental music and then we are used to write uh, um, lyrics and uh, vocal stuff uh, with a uh, not the uh, we can say uh, not perfect english uh, but it's a uh, a rough uh, rough stuff and then we write the the original lyrics with uh, the concept behind the the idea Uh, of course, we are uh, used to take decision about uh, the music, uh, the the right uh, um, the right choice about what works and what not, but uh, completely in harmony. Uh, the ba the band usually discuss about what is right, what is wrong. And uh, the final result is, uh, is shared by all the all the band without any kind of problem. Lyrics are based. Um, each time uh, on a different concept that we decide uh, in um, in the start of the of the making or uh, uh, in a second step uh, um, about uh, what music uh, lead us in uh, for toward the award instead another, but uh, we usually write um, a concept lyrics in uh, Italian language uh, and then we write what we used to call um, uh, demo stuff uh, in, uh, in English and then the original lyrics are based on uh, the sound uh, we we write and we make in the in the pre-production vocal process, so it's not a a translation from Italy to English, but it's an help to to write a specific story uh, in the English language that will uh, uh, mix the sound uh, words and. Uh, lyrics of all the album. First emotion uh, we feel uh, when we are on the stage, I can say that it's the adrenaline. Adrenaline uh, with, the, um, with the public, with the fans um, behind the stage interaction uh, with the people try to to make them uh, have fun to make uh, to try to have a, a good interaction with the new people too uh, when we are in um, for example in situation with uh, uh, new people uh, look uh, see in the stage in um, we try to uh, interact and uh, 
share our energy to the public too. This is the the really or uh, the really important thing we try to express uh, each time we have a, a new show, a new concert uh, in a new city, in a new venue, a new place, new people. Uh, we need to be one thing, just one thing. What, us and the people need to need to uh, to share the same energy. This is the 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 first important thing we try to to make each time we are on the stage. Actually, we had no chance to have uh, discussion, uh, technical discussion about uh, um, the music production or uh, concept lyrics uh, with the people and fans uh, after the concert. But uh, when we played um, out of Italy, uh, we had few concerts uh, in Switzerland and Austria uh, happened uh, that people after the the show asked um, signs and a picture uh, with us and that were little things that uh, made us really happy and of course the, uh, the fans too so this is the the little thing that makes happy a, a people uh, when we are not used to to live this kind of emotion. Our history, uh, or we can say that um, underground music in Italy is uh, it's not a really a scene uh because uh people goes to the concert just to have i how to say just to have fun but it's not the priority uh of the um, of the evening um when we played uh, in switzerland uh a few times we had uh 20 50 uh, 100 people but they were in the in the club to 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 have the show so this is the the main difference uh, instead uh, what we we have the perception when we are uh, in Italy uh, it's a different underground uh, uh, attitude and uh, of course uh, there are some regions areas in uh, in europe or in the world where music is part of the culture of uh, these uh, nations for example north europe or uh, united states uh, respect of course italy this is the the main uh, difference to when we make music in uh, italy uh, instead make music in uh, Sweden uh, or uh, United States, for example. Each member of the band um, have some uh, bands or artists, favorite bands or artists, of course. I started to listen heavy metal music uh, in the first nineties. So the new metal, uh, new metal bands like uh, Defton Scorn or um, Fear Factory um, led me to the to the scene. So I I really started to to like uh, singers like uh, Barton Sibel, uh, Jonathan Davis, and recently. I really like uh, the the voice of uh, John Howard from Street Signal, and actually I'm on a band. 
and also extreme uh, extreme metal singers like uh, Meshuga or uh, for example um, also uh, uh, other different kind of bands like Testament too. Uh, and I try to take inspiration uh, from this kind of um, singers uh, and change the vocals I I like and try to express my my vocal with the, some kind of tricks, uh, taking inspiration from uh, this different uh, artist and uh, band's sound. <laughs> Pandemic, pandemic uh, uh, is been a really huge problem for us because we had no uh, chance to work together for uh, more than a year uh, because we are not from the same um, from the same city and uh, different regions. So we have been far for more than. Uh, then one year, one year and a half, uh, we did not work together. Uh, we did not work in the studios. Uh, just some virtual meeting, uh, uh, phone conference, but nothing really uh, material. Uh, so we started again uh, from the um, two years ago uh, with the the pre production of uh, all old stuff and uh, new uh, new song new music uh, we we entered studios um, in 2021 uh, we worked uh, on the the pre production and uh, the first recording till last christmas when we had the the mix and the master of the the new record and and actually we we planned the release with our um, uh, with our other record for uh, the next May, starting from next week uh, with the first single uh, of the, the new record. The new album uh, that will be out uh, in May is uh, a kind of evolution of uh, the last record, Ashes of Faith, and debut one, Almost Human 2. And, but it's also an um, improvement of uh, everything uh, we have done in the past. So there are some new, new things uh on the especially in the in the vocals the uh, vocal stuff uh, some new elements in uh, in the in the sound and of course we changed something on the the sound production so we hope that all um, all our fans and listener uh will be able to to accept this change and and to understand first uh this new this new way of uh logical tarot style that we are really excited to to unleash really soon so stay tuned next <laughs> so thank you so much uh first you first for the this opportunity and uh, this chance to talk about logical tarot to new people that are listening to us in this moment and we have uh first first live show where people uh, will be able to to buy the new merchandise on uh, april 15th uh, at the viper theater in uh, firenze 
experience a metal uh, festival and uh, May 13th in uh, Modena, La Tenda. And then we have uh, two, uh, two weeks where we will be across Switzerland, Germany and Austria from the end of May to the beginning of June. And then we will set our online store, of course, uh, through our uh, official pages and socials. So follow us on Facebook, Instagram, uh, especially Spotify, if you want to listen the the old stuff and the new one uh, on the upcoming release too. And uh, we'll be able to uh, make the, the new stuff ready for the um, to be grabbed as soon as possible. Studio 7, in collaborazione con Sport e Piceno Game, presenta l'intervista di Pietro.